think about what you're addicted to. And here's a hint. Usually it's, you say to your friends or yourself, I'm not addicted to that. I could stop anytime I wanted to. Ha ha ha. But you know, admitting is the first step. So think about all the time and energy you could reclaim. Everything you could create if you kick that habit. And if that sounds good, let's give you some tools and a roadmap to make that happen. Just be aware if your addiction is serious or life-threatening, seek professional help. And also this video can trigger addictive cravings for some people just by discussing it. So if you're not in a position where you feel secure to deal with that, don't watch it right now. The first thing to be aware of is even though an addiction could be triggered by something in your environment, often it starts as an image in your mind. An image pops in, you start to feel the craving in your body, and then you keep indulging that image until the craving gets strong enough that you're like, ah, okay, I'm just going to go do it. But instead, drop the image. Don't indulge the image. And then the craving in your body can't get strong enough to be acted upon. So that's the first step. Notice the image, drop the image. The second thing is be aware of the voice of addiction. It sounds like you, but it's not you. It's addiction. And it'll rationalize. It'll say, oh, I just really want that right now. Or I just really need to get this out of my system. Or whatever it is. But if you do that, if you listen to that voice, you'll satisfy the craving for a little bit. And then the craving will pop up again later. And now you're in the cycle of addiction. There's no winning that. So the key is to deal with the energy behind the craving. So first two steps are drop the image. Don't listen to the voice of addiction. Notice it for what it is. The third thing is deal with the energy. So when you feel that craving, there's some kind of desire or craving or restless energy in your body. Use urge surfing or the letting go technique to basically feel that energy in your body. Let it flow through. Maybe it gets stronger temporarily, but you're just focusing on the energy in the body, not the thoughts or the image or the voice. And then it starts to pass through and it calms down. That's how you can manage those cravings. But long term, you want to be aware that there's going to be other things that are driving that, like shame or guilt or anger or grief. Use professional support. Use loading go technique at a pace that you feel safe and ready to deal with to work through those emotions and start to remove the source of that impulse to begin with. The next thing to be aware of is finding something bigger than yourself. So this means two things, a bigger purpose and a bigger energy. In terms of purpose, this could be anything. It doesn't have to be super grand. It could be super vague. It could be superficial. It could be an intuition. It could be something, anything. It doesn't matter. But if you don't have something, of course you're going to be like, well, why wouldn't I indulge this thing? I don't have anything bigger that I'm aiming towards. Why wouldn't you indulge? Why wouldn't you? Why would you delay gratification? if you don't have something to delay gratification for. So start with something, and you can find that either through meditation, reflection, visualization, or conversation with others who know you and can talk to you and help you understand yourself. But find something to start to aim towards so that you're giving up that smaller thing for something bigger. The other aspect of that is finding something bigger than yourself. So that's just an energy. It could be God. It could be the universe. It could be source, whatever you want to call it. Having a relationship to something greater than yourself and people who are in their heads a lot often struggle with this. It seems obscure. It seems nonsensical. But you might want to start entertaining it because when you can start to feel, not necessarily intellectualize, but feel a connection to something greater with yourself, than yourself rather, you can start to fill the void that the addiction is trying to fill on an energetic level. So start to explore that at your pace. So if you're serious about this, Write down these things, put them on sticky notes in places where you'll see them, implement them, give yourself grace if you slip up, retrack and recommit to that. Use the addiction meditation on this channel or the letting go technique. Use all the resources that are available to you. Stick with it. Stay consistent. Remember your bigger why. Start with whatever is available to you. And let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.